All right, I'm personally curious about this story because I can't imagine traveling from Cleveland to Chicago in 28 minutes. Unbelievable, right? Well, plans for a high-speed hyperloop moving forward as a feasibility study is nearing completion. News 5's John Kosick here to explain it. John, we don't know all the routes, but we know there's more than Chicago on this list. Exactly. The folks behind this project today announced that they're going to be extending the initial phase east to Pittsburgh, which we'll be able to make in 10 minutes. Lest you think that Hyperloop transportation is something that may be a few generations away, think again. It's coming a lot sooner than you think. I mean, we're not talking about decades. We're talking about years. Rob Miller is Chief Marketing Officer for Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the group behind the project that involves levitating passenger cars in a tube traveling at speeds of over 700 miles an hour. HTT and the Northeast Ohio Coordinating Agency, or NOACA, will release this fall the results of a feasibility study announced 18 months ago, a study that they will only say at this point produces promising results, enough for them to extend the Chicago to Cleveland line now to Pittsburgh. Hyperloop travel actually produces more energy than it uses, making it the most cost-effective form of travel. So that, that means in terms of ticket prices, it'll be much closer to a bus ticket than it will be to a, a, a full fare coach ticket today. HCT is one of three major efforts underway to bring Hyperloop travel to different parts of America. Another by Richard Branson's Virgin proposes the Chicago to Columbus to Pittsburgh route, a model while their car went on display in Columbus this week. HTT, though, has already completed the first full-scale capsule and test track in France. Our test track in Toulouse is, is operational. We'll be doing passenger testing next year in France, and then we start to build as well the first five-kilometer Hyperloop in Abu Dhabi. That research, plus the relatively flat topography of the route, means this state that was the birthplace of aviation might have another first in its future. I really believe that this is the most advanced Hyperloop project in the United States and with, uh, with the support with its potential to be the, the first in the United States. Well, no exact price tag for construction at this point, but they figure it'll be about two-thirds the cost of high-speed rail. But the difference is, where high-speed rail is a money loser, this will be a money maker, they argue, and in a relatively short time, it will be able to pay for itself. Well, I know we're focusing on Chicago right now, but what about stops in between Cleveland and Chicago? That'll probably come out a little bit later this fall. They did tell me that Toledo likely would be one of those stops, probably someplace in Indiana. The eventual plans are to go further north to Buffalo and maybe Toronto. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Exciting stuff. Nice. It's great. Thank great you, Great work, John. man.